Japan's Nippon Professional Baseball League is full of young talent right now, but right-handed pitchers Roki Sasaki of the Chiba Loti Marines and Yasunobu Okugawa of the Tokyo Yoko Swallows definitely top that list. Both players are entering their third professional season in 2022, and while fans, media, and scouts alike have been raving about these kids since their high school days, this may very well be the year that they truly break out. We were already treated to a bit of a preview of what these generational talents are capable of as Sasaki pitched to a 2.27 ERA and Okugawa pitched to a 3.26 ERA in their respective rookie campaigns. Not only that, but they both got some valuable postseason experience and absolutely shined in the limelight, proving themselves to be big game pitchers. So what can we expect from Sasaki and Okugawa this season, and will they be able to live up to the hype? Well, let's remember how we got here first. Born in Rikuzen Takata, Iwate on November 3rd, 2001, Roki Sasaki attended Hanamaki Higashi High School and blew scouts away with his remarkable increase in velocity every year as he was clocked at 91 miles per hour in the 2017 summer tournament before hitting 96 miles per hour in the summer of 2018 and 98 miles per hour in the fall of the same year. But it wasn't until April 6, 2019 when Sasaki really made headlines as the then 17-year-old was unofficially clocked at 101.3 miles per hour, breaking Shohei Otani's high school record of 99.4 miles per hour. This earned Sasaki the nickname Monster of the Reiwa Era, the current Imperial Era in Japan. The recipient of that very title for the last Imperial Era in Japan, Heisei, was Daisuke Matsuzaka. In the 2019 MPB draft, the Lotte Marines won the four-way lottery for Sasaki and thus began his professional journey. Sasaki would not pitch in a single game during the shortened 2020 season, focusing on strength and conditioning instead, but he would show up more than ready to compete in 2021. After surrendering just 10 hits and one earned run across 20 innings of work on the farm team, Sasaki would make his MPB debut on May 16th against the Seibu Lions, and he would record his first career win in the following start against the Hanshin Tigers. Having lost his father and grandparents in the 2011 Tohoku Tsunami and Earthquake, Sasaki dedicated his first win to his parents. Up until the All-Star and Olympic break, Sasaki carried a 1-2 record with a 3.76 ERA across 26 and a third innings of work, but once the second half got underway, Sasaki evolved into a whole new beast. After only throwing six innings once in his first seven career starts, Sasaki went at least six innings in each of his last four starts, only surrendering three runs across 27 frames with 36 strikeouts. His final regular season start against the Nippon Hamfighters was particularly impressive as the rookie punched out 11 batters across six shutout innings. He topped out at 98 miles per hour during the season and finished the year with a 3-2 record, a 2.27 ERA, 2.71 FIP, 1.06 WHIP, and a strikeout rate minus walk rate at 20.2% across 63 and a third innings. Then in his postseason debut, Sasaki struck out another 10 batters, allowing just one run over six innings. Sasaki wouldn't get another postseason start, but he definitely proved what he's truly capable of, and keep in mind this was his age 19 season. And earlier this month, Sasaki just hit 101 miles per hour on the radar gun in an exhibition game. So this is really going to be a huge year for him. Oryx Buffalo's ace Yoshinobu Yamamoto is far and away the best pitcher in Japan right now, but if anyone can dethrone him, it may very well be Roki Sasaki. He's mostly a three-pitch guy at this point, relying on his flaming fastball 60% of the time, along with two very strong secondary pitches in the forkball and slider. He was averaging in the mid-90s with the velo last year, but as he settles into the league and gets more comfortable with his command, that average velo should only continue to climb. So we shouldn't place any unrealistic expectations on the monster of the Reiwa era, but if his second half success last season is any indication of what's to come, then the rest of the league should be trembling. Moving on, Yasunobu Okugawa was born on April 16th, 2001 in Kahoku Ishikawa and attended Serio High School. Now, unlike Sasaki, Okugawa didn't really set the world on fire with his velocity, but what set him apart at his young age was the impeccable command, earning him some comps to Masahiro Tanaka. Scouting the 2019 Under-18 World Cup, Sungmin Kim of Fangraphs reported the following. 
If I had to choose the best prospect of the tournament, there's no doubt it would be Okugawa. The 18-year-old righty made headlines earlier this season by leading his high school to the Koshien Finals and hitting 95.7 miles per hour. Along with Roki Sasaki, Okugawa was one of the players most sought after by Major League scouts on the Japan team. What makes Okugawa a dangerous pitcher is his command. Throughout the game, he was able to locate in different quadrants of the strike zone and keep hitters off balance. That game Kim is referring to is Okugawa's September 5th start against the Canadian national team, where he punched out 18 batters in just 7 innings. Clearly, this kid was the real deal, and much like Sasaki, he was highly contested at the 2019 MPB draft, but the Occult Swallows won the three-way lottery for his negotiation rights and thus began his professional career. Throughout 2020, Okugawa pitched in 7 games down on the farm team and posted a 1.83 ERA with 18 strikeouts in 19 and 2 thirds innings, earning him a chance on the first team on the final day of the regular season. Unfortunately, his debut would not pay dividends as he allowed 9 hits and 5 earned runs while only managing to get 6 outs of the 15 batters he faced. Unfazed, Okugawa made the opening day roster in 2021 and made his first start of the year on March 28th against the Hanshin Tigers. He would get his first career win in the very next game against the Hiroshima Carp, despite surrendering 5 runs in 5 innings as his team put up 11. But other than a couple of good starts here and there, Okugawa was really struggling for the first few months with a 5.45 ERA through June 8th. However, that's when his fortunes would all change. On June 20th against the Chunichi Dragons, Okugawa threw 7 shutout frames to earn his third win of the year, and he would never look back. He began to work much deeper into games on a consistent basis, and that command was really starting to play. For a 7 start stretch from July 1st to September 28th, Okugawa didn't walk a single batter. In fact, he walked just 2 batters over his final 60 frames. Obviously, limiting base runners with that much efficiency is going to produce good results, and by the end of the regular season, Okugawa had lowered his ERA all the way down to 3.26, along with a 3.09 FIP, 1.04 WHIP, and a 19.6% strikeout rate minus walk rate, along with a 9-4 record. He would go on to make two crucial postseason starts, throwing his first career complete game shutout against the Yomiuri Giants, surpassing Yu Darvish as the youngest player ever to receive the Climax Series MVP award, and then going 7 strong, allowing just one run against the Oryx Buffaloes in the Japan Series, helping the Swallows win their first championship in two decades. Throughout the season, Okugawa mostly relied on the fastball about half the time, along with a slider, forkball, and cutter making up the other half. He topped out at 96 miles per hour, so he clearly can ramp it up there, but really the pinpoint control is where he shines. He got a pretty significant workload for a 20 year old last year, so it's going to be interesting to see how he builds on his rookie campaign, but much like Sasaki, Okugawa has all the potential in the world to establish himself as one of the best arms in Japan in 2022. Let's follow both of these young studs closely throughout the season and wish them all the luck in becoming the superstars that they're destined to be. Special thanks to my patrons, Chris J, Jonathan Greenberg, Hinosato Yaku, Poker Pack Rat, Corgi Racing, Anthony Ping, Jake Royce, Marcus Hill, Yua Bird, Ryan Fox, Jeff W, Char Aznable, Juan Jose Sanchez Bracamontes, Christopher Woods, Samantha Garave, Yuki's Submarine, Kud, Jem Morelos, Gabriel Foss, Kurt Berglund, Eduardo Granados, Kotaro Imahayashi Kim, and J1. Thanks for watching, please subscribe for more MPB content in English.